hair growth gummies, biotin, collagen, rosemary oil, DHT blockers. If you try those and your hair is still thinning, this episode is for you. Most hair supplements fail for one of three reasons. They do not match the biology of what's happening in your body for hair loss. They are underdose or poorly formulated, or there's no human evidence behind them. I'm Dr. Christian Gonzalez, a licensed naturopathic doctor and psychosomatic practitioner, and a big part of my work is reviewing research and clinical outcomes to figure out what actually moves the needles when it comes to supplements. And today I'm ranking the top five supplements that actually show human evidence for hair growth, for hair loss stabilization, based on randomized trials, biological plausibility, we wanna make sure it works, and real dosing used in studies. We're getting very practical, we're talking about what each supplement actually does in the body, the evidence-based doses, when to take it, what to look for so you're not wasting your money on underdose contaminated formulas. And yes, I'm gonna tell you what brands I actually trust for each one. Each supplement will get an evidence-based score and we're gonna talk about who it helps, who it doesn't, realistic timelines, and how to avoid wasting money on what's not working. I know the hair loss industry is confusing. I'm gonna clear it up for you. Let's get into it. Look, hair loss, is not always nutrient deficiency issues. It's not always a signaling problem between your hormones. Your hair follicles, they cycle through growth, rest, and shedding. They are phases that they go through. And when the body begins to sense stress, whether it's hormonal stress, inflammatory stress, metabolic stress, even emotional stress, it shifts the follicles out of growth and into the shedding phase. And the signal can come from chronic stress, illness, inflammation of the scalp in the body, Androgen signaling like DHT, nutrient depletion over time, genetics that actually make follicles more sensitive to these signals. You see, it's a complement of everything. It's usually not just one thing. And most supplements fail because they assume hair loss is just about feeding the hair. But in reality, hair loss is about removing those signals that tell the follicles to shut down and actually supporting the conditions around them to allow them to stay in the growth phase. And that's the lens we're using today. Now we're gonna talk about supplements that actually truly make sense. One of the best supplements for hair growth is a marine complex called Aminomar. The evidence score is an eight out of 10. And it's helpful for hair density, shedding reduction, and follicle support. What this is, is a marine derived protein amino acid complex that has been studied specifically for hair thinning and excess shedding, not just general hair health. And unlike a lot of the supplements that you see that really rely on these theoretical mechanisms, right? This may happen if you take this. This ingredient actually has been evaluated by multiple randomized controlled trials that actually shows improvement in hair density, hair thickness, reduced shedding over time. And it puts this product in a rare category for hair loss supplements because it has real human data, not just marketing logic. And no, it's not a miracle supplement, but from an evidence standpoint, it is one of the most studied non-drug options available. So who is it for, who is it not for? This is for especially women with diffuse thinning or increased shedding hair, people experiencing stress-related or nutritional hair loss, early stage thinning where follicles are still active, and those who are really looking for that non-pharmaceutical option with human evidence, that's who it's for. It's not for people with advanced male pattern baldness, with long-standing follicle miniaturization. It's not for people with completely slick or inactive follicles. It's not for people expecting rapid growth within weeks or months. It's not for people who are unwilling to take a product that has an imperfect formulation quality, and I'll talk about that in a second. So basically, the supplement works through different pathways. The marine-derived proteins and amino acids help keratin production, strengthens the hair, supports the antigen phase, the growth phase, the cycle phase, it may reduce excessive telogen, the shedding phase. It improves follicle resistance under metabolic stress, but it doesn't act as a hormone or drug, which is really important. And I think a lot of people are preferring nowadays. But forms matter, this is clinical. The clinical studies done here were on a very specific proprietary marine protein complex, not a generic marine collagen or fish protein, right? Marine collagen peptides are not these ingredients. Fish oils are not these ingredients. Amino acids are not these ingredients. Only the studied marine complex shows consistent results. As far as dosages, the typical dose here is twice daily dosing taken with food. And you can expect changes in shedding first, then the density, 
timeline's about three to six months minimum. And hair growth is, remember, hair growth is slow. These phases are slow. Anyone promising fast results in a month is not being honest with you. So how do you buy this? The category is limited, which matters. There's only one widely studied formula here. You should still be looking for clear labeling and batch consistency. You want to avoid any off-brand versions claiming the same effect. When it comes to the brand, I'm going to speak about it with integrity here, okay? So the product used in these clinical trials is something called Viviscal, V-I-V-I-S-C-A-L. And it contains this proprietary marine protein complex called Aminomar, which is trademarked. But I'm going to give you a transparency note. You know me, I'm very selective about brand quality and formulation and purity. And I always search for alternatives. And for this one, I could not find other alternatives that for me were really worth being Dr. G approved, especially not in the specific marine protein complex space with comparable human evidence. Viviscal works, but it's not the cleanest supplement I've ever seen. It has the strongest data, it can actually improve hair density and reduce shedding. And this recommendation is based on evidence, but not marketing. And if anyone finds a better, cleaner product, please tell me. I'd be open to hear. So yeah, I wanted to share this with you because you can make your own decision. Does the benefit of using the product outweigh the potential cost of using a product that may not be the cleanest on the market? Number two supplement for hair loss, pumpkin seed oil, an evidence-based score of 7.5 out of 10. This works with androgen modulation, hair density, and shedding reduction. When it comes to this product, pumpkin seed oil is one of the most overlooked evidence-backed supplements for hair loss, particularly when it comes to androgens, when it's part of the picture, androgens being one of the drivers of hair loss. You heard about DHT. It's not a vitamin or a generic hair nutrient. This is a plant-derived, oil-rich in phytosterols fatty acids, and they're going to influence how DHT interacts with the hair follicle. And unlike many trendy hair supplements, pumpkin seed oil has human clinical data showing measurable improvements in your hair count. It's not a drug, but it helps your biology. So who is this product for? Men with early to moderate androgen-related thinning, male pattern baldness for the most part, women with androgen sensitivity or diffuse thinning, female pattern baldness, and this is great for people who are staying away from finasteride, Propecia, for example. This is not for people with advanced baldness, whose follicles are dead, they're inactive, or who have scarring alopecia, autoimmune hair loss. People who are expecting finasteride level results, unfortunately, that still stands as king queen. And any acute stress-related shedding where hormones are not the driver, it's not going to work. This is supportive, but it's not going to be curative. Remember that. So how does it work? Pumpkin seed oil is amazing because it works through different mechanisms. It inhibits an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, which reduces DHT signaling, and that decreases the androgen binding at the follicular level, and then it supports your follicle survival, reduces hair loss, and the fatty acids actually support the scalp and nourish it. And the good thing is that it doesn't systemically crash your hormone, so it may be tolerated better than a pharmaceutical option. So how do you get it? you got to get good quality pumpkin seed oil. You can't just get anyone. You don't want to lose this. Pay close attention. Cold press pumpkin seed oil. You can get in the soft gel or liquid oil form. You don't want to get it in the pumpkin seed powder form or defatted pumpkin seed extracts. The oil is what contains those sterols responsible for modulating your androgens. Powders are nutritionally fine, but they're not clinically equivalent. So you can use about 400 milligrams per day. Again, as always, talk to your doctor. Take it with food to improve your absorption. And consistency matters, as always. First, you can expect reduced shedding, and then density changes may be seen around three to six months. It can be slow. It can be cumulative. Talk to the companies and see that there's no hexane or solvent extraction. See that they provide third-party testing. See that there's minimal excipients. Stay away from artificial coloring, proprietary blends hiding the dose, Oxidized oils, you don't want any poor storage or clear bottles. You want a dark amber bottle that was refrigerated. If the label doesn't say cold press, skip it. If it says organic, USDA organic, that's even better. So for pumpkin seed oil, I look for clean and transparent companies. Here are some companies that I do trust. Mary Ruth's pumpkin seed oil, Now Foods pumpkin seed oil, Rainbow Lights pumpkin seed oil. They use cold press oil, minimal additives, 
and basic third-party testing is provided. You can connect to the company. They're not flashy. They're not trendy, but they work with the evidence and it's good stuff. So go check that one out. Number three, saw Paul Meadow and OG in the space. The evidence score is seven out of 10. This works on androgen modulation, follicle protection, and shedding control. The supplement is one of the most studied botanicals for androgen-related hair loss. It works in the same category as pumpkin seed oil. It's also supportive of the prostate health. But when it comes to hair, it works on how testosterone converts to THT and how DHT signals at the follicle. It's not a miracle herb. It's not finasteride. But it does have human data supporting modest improvements in hair density. And when it's used correctly, you can see reduced shedding overall. This is for men with early stage androgenic hair thinning. This is for women with androgen sensitive hair thinning. This is for people exploring non-drug DHT modulating strategies. These are for people who want plant-based options with human data. This is not for people with advanced baldness. This is not for people who are expecting rapid dramatic hair loss. This is not for anyone sensitive to hormonal modulation. This is not for pregnant or trying to conceive people. This is a supportive intervention, not a pharmaceutical replacement, but it works. This works because like pumpkin seed oil, it inhibits 5-alpha reductase, which we know converts DHT, builds it up in the system, affects the follicles. The forms matter. This is where people fail the most. You want a lipid sterile extract of saw palmetto, standardized to fatty acid content. You don't want a whole berry powder. You don't want low dose or non-standardized extracts. The research is based on lipophilic extracts, not the raw plant powder. If it's not standardized, you are guessing at what is in there. Typical doses are about 320 milligrams per day taken with food, especially around fat. It can be taken once daily and shedding may reduce and over four to six months, you may see density changing. So because this varies widely in the marketplace, you want standardized lipid extracts, clear fatty acid percentages listed, third-party testing. You don't want any proprietary blends. Avoid whole berry claims without any standardization. Ultra cheap formulas, you don't want that. You don't want hormone dose blends. You just want the product, Saw Palmetto. Here are some of my favorite brands. For Saw Palmetto, I prefer companies that stick to standardization. We know that with minimal formulation. Pure Encapsulation, Saw Palmetto. Integrative Therapeutics, Saw Palmetto. Gaia Herbs Pro, Saw Palmetto. Karuna and Herb Farm. These companies use lipid sterile extracts at clinically relevant doses and avoid unnecessary additives. It's not a flashy supplement, but we know it has data behind it and it can work. Supplement number four for hair loss, curcumin, phytosome, Mariva, or BCM95, an evidence score of seven out of 10. It is used for inflammation, your scalp, environment, health, and follicle protection. Curcumin is not a traditional hair growth formula. It does not directly stimulate your follicles to grow new hair, but it works where it matters, and that's inflammation. Low-grade chronic inflammation will create an environment in the scalp that will contribute to hair thinning and hair loss. Curcumin earns a place on this list because it is one of the most studied anti-inflammatory compounds in humans, and when it's delivered correctly, it can provide meaningful improvements in your biological environment. Overall, your hair follicles will be very happy. This is supportive on a systems level. It's not just your hair, it's overall body. Now, this is for people with inflammatory or stress-related hair shedding, scalp irritation, redness or tenderness, autoimmune disease or inflammatory tendencies. Anyone who's taken androgen or nutrient-based interventions can also stack this with it. But it's not for people with isolated androgenic hair loss it's not for people expecting to regrow hair from just this alone. It's not for people with gallbladder issues or on blood thinning medication. Of course, as always, talk to your doctor. And it works though. It works through down-regulating different inflammatory mechanisms. It reduces oxidative inflammation in the scalp and actually can help support microcirculation around the scalp. Forms matter. This is critical. You cannot just go get curcumin, which is a constituent from turmeric. Curcumin phytosome, also known as Mariva, BCM95 curcumin. These forms dramatically improve absorption of the curcumin. You kind of wasting your money if you get anything else, especially like a standard turmeric powder. You want to get the forms that are most bioavailable. You want to take about 500 to 1,000 milligrams per day with food, can be split into doses. And when it comes to the hair loss timeline, you may see your inflammatory symptoms improve first. And then the hair 
starts being a side effect of all of that. So think months, not weeks, but you might see your hair a little bit thicker and the hair shedding be reduced. So curcumin quality varies dramatically. Look for, again, Mariva or BCM95 trademark forms, third-party tested, no artificial dyes, minimal excipients or any additives in there. When you look at the capsule, you want it to be bright and yellow. You don't want mega dose formulas to make up for the low absorption of curcumin. You really want these forms. So here are some of my favorite brands that I prioritize in my clinic. Thorn Mariva SF, that's the curcumin phytosome, Jaro curcumin phytosome, and Integrative Therapeutics Theracurmin. These are companies that I've used and worked with for many years and have seen that they work. Check them out. And the last product for your hair, vitamin E complex tocotrienols, evidence-based score of seven out of 10. This works on oxidation, follicle protection, and hair density support. When people hear vitamin E, they think it's an antioxidant, if they do at all. Maybe they think about their skin, maybe they think about certain foods that they eat for their hair, skin, and nails, but it's not what we're talking about here. Tocotrienols are a very specific subgroup of vitamin E that behave very differently from standardized tocopherols. And they are the form which your human hair loves. And that's what we see in the data. Hair follicles are extremely sensitive to oxidative stress. I just mentioned that when it comes to curcumin and inflammation. When oxidative stress is accumulated, it damages your follicles. It shortens the cycle where they're not coming alive and instead they're shedding. Tocotrienols earn a place on this list because they address that upstream biology. They've been tested in humans for hair density outcomes. And what we see is this is for people with diffuse thinning, generalized hair shedding, hair loss that is associated with inflammation, metabolic strain, oxidative stress, individuals who are not iron deficient but still experiencing hair thinning. It's not for people with androgenic hair loss as the sole purpose of what's happening. People who are looking for direct follicle stimulation and hair growth immediately. Anyone who takes vitamin E high dose without supervision, you don't want to do that. This is protective more so than aggressive. And it works because it reduces the oxidative stress in the scalp. It protects your follicles. It supports microcirculation around the follicles so they get more nutrition and forms matter. Most vitamin E supplements are going to be mixed up here. What you want is mixed tocotrienols. Delta and gamma dominant forms are preferred. What doesn't work well is alpha tocopherol alone. You don't want something that just has vitamin E without the tocotrienol specified. The hair data based on tocotrienols is not generic vitamin E. The dose that has been studied is about 100 milligrams per day taken with meals with fat because it's a fat-soluble vitamin. Usually we see hair counts improve in six to eight months, but this is slow. It's measurable. It's something every single day. And when you buy it, you want the tocotrienols listed. I mentioned delta and gamma. You want that there. You want third-party testing. You want to avoid, again, that vitamin E without any breakdown of what you see. And one of my favorite brands are Designs for Health, Anato E Tocotrienols. Remember, it's not hype, it's not magic, but it's going to be supportive. So there you have it. My top five evidence-based supplements for your hair. Remember, there's not a magic bullet in there. If there was, I would be a billionaire by now. So if you're spending your money, make sure you're not falling for all these ads and influencers saying you're going to grow your hair by this and go for things that actually work in the research. I really hope this show helped you. And if you are interested in buying any supplements, go to the Swell Score where they're handpicked hand curated supplements by the best eyes in the industry to give you the purest, cleanest quality products out there. Check out theswellscore.com.